Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 Essie favorites. I did this for Zoya, so I will leave it as a card in the top right hand corner if you're interested in checking out that video. But in this one, I'm going to go over my top 10 Essie favorites. So my first favorite should not be a surprise to a lot of you, especially if you've watched my channel at all, even just a little bit. I talk about this top coat all the time and I truly believe it's the best top coat ever. So this is Essie Gel Setter. It's absolutely fantastic. It is going to help you keep your manicure looking really nice and shiny for a really long time. I've used it and had manicures last well over a week. It keeps them really shiny and it does give that gel-like shine. It's just a fantastic top coat. You do not have to cure it. It is totally regular nail polish, but I have probably gone through at least seven or eight bottles of this stuff. That's how much I love it. So if you are looking for a really nice top coat, I think this one is great. It dries super fast and it won't smudge your nail art if you're applying it on top of nail art and it just helps your manicure last super, super long and keeps it really shiny. So honestly, I think, and I've tried a lot of top coats before, but I think this is the best one. So my next favorite is Essie Chilato, and this is honestly one of my favorite nail polishes of all time. I love the color. My favorite color is green, so for me, this really pretty, almost muted lime color is absolutely perfect. The one downside, I guess I would say, of this polish, and maybe the one downside of a lot of the Essie polishes I have tried in the past, is that the formula isn't the greatest. As you can see on this first coat, it is pretty sheer and a little bit streaky. It does take three coats to become completely opaque, which again is a little bit of a downside, but for me, the color is totally worth the extra effort because this is one of, like I said, one of my favorite nail polishes of all time, especially during the summer. For some reason, this color just makes me so happy and it reminds me of summer. I just really think it's pretty. So even though the formula is a bit lacking, um, I definitely think that the color is worth it. Also, even though you have to do three coats, the coats dry super fast, especially if you're doing thin coats, which is what I like to do. A lot of times in my swatch videos, I'll get comments saying, why are you doing such thin coats? But for me, I have found that doing thinner coats helps the polish dry more evenly, and then as you do thinner coats, the polish actually lasts longer because they're not super thick and gloppy. A lot of times that is what can cause chipping. Next up is Peach Side Babe, and I just really love corally, almost tangerine polishes. Again, if you've been on my channel a little bit, you'll know that this is one of my favorite kind of colors, nail polish colors to wear. The formula on this polish is fantastic, and I just really love the color, again, for summer, but also just to incorporate in nail art as well. I just think it's a really fun coral polish. So if you are in the market for a really nice coral polish, this is definitely going to be the one for you. It has definitely more of a pinky coralness to it, so it's not super orangey. I do love a good orange coral, but a lot of times with my skin tone having pink undertones, I like more of a pink coral polish, and this is one that I will reach for a ton. I, yeah, just really love this one. Here is Blossom Dandy, and this is the most gorgeous Robin Eggshell blue color. Again, similar to Essie Chilato, it doesn't have the greatest formula, so this one, for me at least, does take three coats to become completely opaque. But again, totally worth it for me because the end color is so stunning, perfect for spring and summer. Um, honestly, all year round if you really want to, but I like to match my nail polish colors to the season. But this one, like I said, is just one of those beautiful colors that is totally worth the extra effort. And again, not a big deal, especially if you're doing thin coats because they will dry super fast. So even though you will end up needing three coats, it's not like you're waiting around for everything to dry.
Here's Bikini So Teeny, and I feel like if you've been around and know anything about Essie, this is just one of their iconic shades. So again, similar to Chilato and Blossom Dandy, it does take three coats to become completely opaque, but I sound like a broken record. For me, it's totally worth the end color because it's so pretty. So this one is like a periwinkle shade with some silver flecks of glitter in there that isn't like super obvious it's definitely a more toned down glitter which i really like because sometimes i don't want super glittery nails and especially because glitter is super hard to remove so this one's actually really easy to remove but again just that color is so worth it and i really really love this one i've had it for years and i will stand by it Essie Topless and Barefoot, I think, has actually won several awards for being one of the best neutral nail polish shades. I find this to be a really awesome universal nude shade. It has a fantastic creamy formula. It's not super streaky on that first coat. It does build up really nicely in two coats to be completely opaque, and at least for my skin tone, it goes really nicely. Um, I think it would go with a lot of other skin tones as well. Like I said, it's just kind of a universal shade with a really great formula. So if you, again, are on the market for a nice neutral shade, this might be one for you. This one is called Chin Chili, and this is just a really pretty gray shade with a little bit, I think a hint of lavender almost, at least that's what I see. I really like this one. Again, I use it a lot. It's a pretty neutral shade and it's perfect for like fall and winter. Again, like I said, I like to match my nail polish shades to the season. So this is one that I wear a ton in the fall and winter. I think it looks really great on my nails and it has a really nice formula as well. It builds up completely in two coats. This is Angora Cardi, and this is another one that I love to wear in the fall. I like to use this one kind of as a summer to fall transition shade. I think it's just a really pretty berry cream shade. Really great formula, super creamy, and lasts a really long time on the nail. And yeah, the opacity is fantastic. I love this one, and when I do nails for my friends, a lot of times they request this one. It just kind of looks good on, again, everyone's skin tone. And if you do like matching your nails for this season, um, I think this one is great for that summer to fall transition. Great for fall and winter too, but that is how I like to use this one and I've used it a lot. And speaking of fall, this is a polish that I like to refer to as fall in a bottle. It also reminds me of pumpkin spice lattes, which is kind of crazy to think about right now because we are heading into summer, but I do love me some pumpkin spice latte. So this is called On the Bright Cider, and I really love it. Again, like I said, it reminds me of pumpkin spice lattes, and the formula is absolutely fantastic, and I love the way it looks on my nails. Um, my friends, when they requested this one, they weren't sure how it was going to look on their skin tone as well, but then they ended up loving it, and it's one of their favorites to wear too. And last but not least is perhaps one of the most iconic Essie shades, and this is Wicked. I love this one, especially for fall and winter. Again, I feel like I sound like a broken record, but it's just a really fun nail polish. So it goes on, especially in this first coat, as like a really deep, almost blood red. But when you use the second coat, it looks almost black on the nail, but you can still see that it has that reddish kind of tint to it. I really love polishes like this for the winter and I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I have polishes from Zoya and OPI that have better formulas and especially with a wider brush, I do prefer a wider brush, especially for darker colors, but Wicked from Essie is just so iconic that I find myself reaching for this one a lot just because it's 
Wicked from Essie. <laughs> so yeah, I just really love this one. And if you don't have a bottle of Wicked and you love nail polish, I feel like you definitely need to have this one. So that is it for my Essie favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if I missed any of your favorites that you love from Essie, definitely let me know in the comments below because I'm always looking to check out new nail polishes. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.